Hardy Main, hello Main Black Bears. It's Patty from Team Main welcoming you back to the Union. There's so many really cool things in the Union like we said in the prior video, but this one, it holds Dio to a lot of students' hearts. So let's go take a look at what we're actually talking about with the experts. All right, so here we are. We are in the, uh, the beautiful radio station here at the University of Maine. I got some of the experts right here for us. We're gonna do a little Q and A, similar to what we did in the Career Center, but let's get it, uh, let's get it rocking, shall we? Uh, so, first off, like, would y'all like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, absolutely. I'm Will. I'm the librarian here at WMEP, and then I'm Jess. I'm the station manager, and I'm Tom. I'm the program director. All right. Thank you all, for, uh, first off, for coming and hanging out with us today, and letting us hang out with y'all, actually, rather. <laughs> uh, so, first question: uh, What is WMEP? If you don't mind me asking, history and all that great stuff. Well, WMEB is the University of Maine student-run radio station. So like every, like the staff is all built of students and the DJs are students or like staff members of the university. Um, there are like constantly opportunities for students to become staff members. And then there's always open DJ spots for students to become DJs. Yeah. Um, we've been around since 64, 1964. Yeah, <laughs> um, we used to be in the East Annex, but we moved here one year. I think it was the year 2000. Year 2000, 2000 2000 early 2000, yeah. that was yeah. three or, about 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. and there's, there's a vast history and there's been a lot of rotation of management and students being in charge. So WMEB is always changing. Yeah, but we have been able to collect a vast amount of physical media over that time period, you yeah. know, 50,000 CDs, almost 10,000 wow. records. So tons of media for students to just check out and listen to in their free time. So it's just, it's great. And I, I think the one thing that really hasn't changed in that time is, is sort of mission statement of WMEB, which is we really want to put out music and thoughts and ideas from from you know Orono and sort of blast that into the 50 mile radius or you know however large it is that we can of here's cool new stuff that you know college kids can share with you know the greater Orono Bangor area. No, I mean I I love I I can't say this enough. I'm, I'm not saying this because y'all's here, but <laughs> I listen to y'all stuff all the time, and that's how I kind of build my playlist is off the music that y'all produce. So again, I I can't thank you enough we for that. that. All right, so on to another question. So, why should students uh, flock to y'all for um for just to be a part of the radio station? Why why should students do that? Well, I think first off, we we have like a lot of DJs, and it's just built with a lot of people of various ages yeah. who have like a common liking to music and like they have something to share community. with the community. You know, whether it's you know you're cool underground music that maybe you know all your friends know you as like that guy with the cool music and so you get to come here and share that with campus and share that with Orno maybe you want to do a talk show and interview people and get again like cool thoughts moving around yeah I mean last semester we had 30 shows on air uh, during the spring so we were able to constantly see DJs using the lounge and just able to really build a good sense of community we have different station events a couple times in the semester we try to and yeah it's just it's a great sense of just like getting to just hang out with people, talk about music, talk about life, talk about whatever the heck, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You really take a load off and yeah. really enjoy it. That's awesome. It also, like, attracts people from various communities at UMaine. I think, like, we get people, there are people I've met here, and there are people, like, there's just various different types of people that come <laughs> to UMaine, or come to WMEB, because they're, they like music, and it's yeah. cool. And they have something to share. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's again, it's brilliant. I, I love, I, I really do enjoy this place a lot. It's a, it's a really brilliant spot and not a lot of people know about it. And it's really, it really buries and boggles my mind in a sense, but <laughs> I really appreciate this. As, I, I hold my heart for that really. Yeah. All right. Last question. Oh, actually I have two more questions. I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, but all right, here's this one. How can students that are interested in the WMEB, the radio station as a whole, get involved? Um, so there's a few ways. The most obvious one is to tune in at WMEB 91.9 <laughs> FM or no main. Uh, if you are too far away for whatever reason, or you just don't have a radio, you're not in your car, you can go to our website and find a streaming link there. You can also follow us on Instagram and do all that type of stuff. If you're interested in getting involved in a more like serious way, 
we're always looking for new DJs. Um, talk or music, you can find applications on our website. Is that you main, is it main.edu slash WMEB? Yeah, but you can also just look up you main and WMEB and it'll come up. <laughs> yeah. And so that's the, you know, that's the most straightforward way if you want to get involved as a DJ. We're always looking for more. We're also hiring staff right now. We're hiring a yeah, new music director. We'll be hiring a music director in the fall. Um, and there's always like a rotation of staff because people graduate, people leave, people come and go. So, so typically we have one or two positions that are opening and closing every year or so. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Um, and then we'll be at the student org fair in the fall with more opportunities like laid out nicely and probably an email list yeah. that you, you could sign up for <laughs> if you're interested. Yeah, I imagine that we're going to post the um, the links for all everything that you're saying on the video. Yeah. So don't worry about that at all. We'll get that taken care of for you. Awesome. awesome. And then my last question, just kind of for me, because I have to steal a spotlight at the end here, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so the last two, what is your favorite thing about UMaine and what is one fun fact about you that nobody else knows? Oh. Um, this is really putting y'all on the spot because it's outside of everything. Favorite thing about you, Maine? Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> um, I really like just being sort of seated in the fact that it's in Orono and all the great things to do around Orono and the fact that we're surrounded, you know, we're kind of out in the woods for being an R1 university. Yeah. And that's kind of cool. You know, you can go walking, biking, hiking, skiing in the wintertime, <laughs> all right here on campus if you want. Um, but there's also like plenty of stuff to do downtown and that's pretty cool. And it's a great community. Yeah, my favorite part about UMaine is, I think it's a good size. There's not too many people that you like feel like you can't find people you know when you're like on campus, but there's also not small enough group amount of people that you don't like, you know everyone. So there are the people you know and you see them and it feels like you know everyone, but you don't know everyone. Yeah. And then also with that size comment, there's like a lot of opportunity. Like yeah. if I went to a bigger school, it would be harder to do some of the things that I've been able to do at UMaine. Yeah. And so like with the size, there's a lot of like opportunity for me to like see an idea to fruition and that's really cool that's awesome i'm gonna piggyback on the size thing that is, <laughs> that is an absolute yeah i 100 agree on that but i'd also say since you guys didn't that i started working here a year and a half ago and wab truly has been <laughs> my favorite part of the college experience so far i just love being on air at my own show once a week and i also work here so i get to sort through the music and just it's been such a joy just getting to look through all the history of the station getting to look through just just different different eras, different styles, finding old snippets of broadcasts, newspaper articles, whatever the heck it was. It's just, it's been a real treat. So yeah. I've just enjoyed the whole process of coming on here and getting to see all the different staff, DJs, you know, people who've been here a lot longer than me, like Travis and Murph and people who have started after me. And, you know, now I'm like, I found out like a year ago that I was the oldest staff member and that was like, whoa, wait, what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of quick because I just got here, but it was like, you know, just kind of things like that. So it's just, a, it's, a, it's been a fun experience just Thanks. being at the station. Really, thank you from the bottom of my heart from for everybody. I mean, everybody back uh, wherever they are listening and they can get a snippet, but definitely go and check them out. They are brilliant and I cannot say that enough. Can we please? Can't thank you. Thank no, you very much. No, thank you for having us. This is, this and is thank best. you for listening. <laughs> Aha! So come on down to WMEB, room 164, literally underground in the Union.